Hello everybody, so today I'll be showcasing Hope and the Vamp Crossover Saga as the game isn't released yet. However, I will leave a link to the Discord link in bio. Make sure to also join my server for my fans as well as I do post TikToks and YouTubes on there. So yeah, let's begin. So our first ability is Somnus, which works as an area sleep spell yes you can still attack this person while you there on the floor with your other abilities that work on the target next up is our repulse this will also push the targets back if they're standing up and if they're not standing up this will still push the targets away next up is our mass purge spell Hopes also has a passive of obviously faster run, so yeah. She also spawns in with a ritual set, but I will get to that later on. Next up is her explosion. And she will ignite everybody and will push her targets back, dealing great damage on the people around her. Next up is her scratch. Pretty sure this is one of the strongest abilities in game, or will be. Next up is her finisher. I highly don't recommend using this ability as it takes so much magic away from you, but it is one of the coolest abilities that she has. Anyways, moving on to her next ability, Beatrice. She will summon a blood dagger and will be able to attack your targets with it. Deals around like 40 damage, a little bit more per hit. But yeah. Next up is Scream. If you do the Kushomi, it's gonna siphon. Oh! So Jersey has a passive. Does it do the same for Hope? I wonder. Probably not because hers is an insta kill. Okay. Anyways. Next up is her scream. And if the ability is completely finished, the target will fall over, dealing, taking great damage. Next up is her summoning. You need to place your ritual candles down, press the button, and then say the username in the chat. Like so. And the target will appear right in front of you. Next up is Death Inducement, and this is a holdable keybind. As long as you hold it and you're not interrupted, you will deal damage. And it deals pretty good damage per second. It can rest people other. Yeah, forget to mention, but the resurrection can also resurrect other people from the other side. Next up is Lucio. Deals really good damage, but as you guys saw, um, this will also be siphoned by Dyke Josie. Next up and last up is her fire stream. Which will also ignite the target. They do not have any chat spells in-game made or have plans on making them. 
So it will only be keyvines to the targets, which I really like it. And yeah, I really feel like this game's gonna go pretty well. And implied from the name, um, they will add more characters other than the TUD characters. But yeah, that's it for today's showcase. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next video. Goodbye!